said that uh, it's actually a comment on one of the videos. I just happened to read a few of them. And uh, the guy said, well, the guy had replaced his thermal fuse and showing how he did it. And, okay, it went off. Uh, beeps three times. That's what this one does. It doesn't heat or anything. The other one stays on for... It stays on, you can set it from like 15 minutes to two hours, the one with the heater in it. I don't like that now. I wish I wouldn't have got it now because I thought, well, I can use it with these in it and it, it'll it keep it uh, warm, but it won't, but it does scorch it. Not as bad as in the glass carafe because we've used both of them. We have tried them both. But uh, I was a little worried about using one of these because they got foam inside of them, but kind of watched it for, and uh, well, I tried to keep the time down to more than 30 minutes, but every time our electricity glitches, and then it loses all its memory. So if the electricity goes off even for a, just a split second, it loses loses time. And I got tired of setting it. I don't even remember to do it. And we don't set auto, you know, auto brew or any of that because you never know who's going to use it first, you know. So uh, well, let's get this out and see. I never did really show the rest of it. Can you see it? Yeah, that's what it looks like. I was thinking about, that's what was so hot. It's still too hot to touch. Uh, and I didn't get to that. Okay, so um, I don't. I remember it being hot, but not like that. I mean, you flat can't. Oh, you know what? I do kind of remember this one getting you with heat. Unless you, if you make, be careful and only touch the button, and you'd be okay. But it could have been overheat for a long time, because uh, if there's thermal fuse, and then there's a they're calling it a thermostat. Uh, um, Anyway, the one in the, it wasn't Cuisine Art, the guy, uh, the guy was working on on that video, it was Mr. Coffee or something. He showed it, but I didn't see anything that looked like that in mine. A anyway, if it's overheating, that would be that somebody in the comments said it and makes perfect sense. If it's overheating, then it'll blow your thermal fuse to protect, <laughs> protect your system, your machine, and your house, you know. I mean, that's usually pretty darn hot on any of them. Sides are not too bad. You can't hardly touch that. That will burn you. I mean, it'll flat. If you, you, you ain't going to touch it for long. So that's almost. It leaked a lot, but can we get this open without burning or stuff? Let's see how much is in there. Oh yeah, it's only. Can't tell. It's a. It's a little more than a half a pot. You're never going to see that. Okay, so uh, this one, the lid goes on and off real easy. Yeah. Other one, and the house has got to where you can't hardly get the lid on and off it. But I messed up by using uh, that one there. I, I made it stink forever. I, it probably still stinks. I used, I uh, can't remember the name of it, but it's this cleaner stuff. Real strong cleaner uh, that they used to have on TV all the time. And I knew about it for many years and I thought it might. And it said it's for cleaning coffee pots. And I let it so soak. And it soaked into the plastic. And I, and it never went away. It actually, I went and used it anyway at first. And I noticed uh, I was getting a headache for hours and hours. Besides the nasty coffee that it was making, you know. Uh, so I quit using this one. And I tried soaking it in lemon water and vinegar water and this new cleaner and uh, that I got, and uh, never did get it to quit. Let's see if I can. It opens up good. Everything is too hot to touch. I don't really want to use these old dirty gloves, but I, of course, if I was really going to use it, I'd wash it again and everything. So. I just okay. There's a little bit of residue in there. I doubt you can see it. Not much. That's one sign you can see. You know, can tell if you're. Let's see if we can see it by taking the basket out. Yeah, not not a lot. If a whole bunch of stuff comes in there, then you'll that's you'll know that you 
got too much crap in there, then you probably have to do some several cleanings to get it to start flowing right. That's probably what it is. It's probably uh I'm trying to see if I could tell. Yeah, the water comes from let's go ahead and shut this. Lean it this way. There. Let's set it on its back. Trying not to scratch it up and all that stuff. There. It's still plugged in. Let's unplug it until we, unless we're not even going to run it again. Okay, so uh, I can see down in the bottom now. Get my light. Let's see what I don't even know uh, if I've ever been able to look in one of them. If I ever, I'm sure I have with a flashlight. I know I've done that. Okay, I, but I can't remember what they look like inside there. Oh, okay. Yeah, I knew there was a hole in there. Of course, there's no problem with the water draining through there. I do see chunks of. Chunks of hard coffee in there. Sometimes you know you get some of it spills over in there on accident, or if you accidentally drop some grounds in there or beans in there. Uh, this. Well, this one. That's the lid. And this is the grinder I'm talking about. And. Uh, Yeah, the other one has a hole right there. And there there's, that's two of them that's done that. It's the only one that's not ruined. I mean, I, I fixed one of them by, I think I used, I, I tried to, I think I used epoxy or something in it. I really thought, well, you know, it's going to wear and I didn't want it to uh, be dangerous. People you know, brewing and epoxy glue, you know. But uh, I finally ended, I don't remember what I used, but. I went looking recently when that other one got a hole in it because I didn't, I wasn't sure where this was, but I didn't feel like digging it out. It didn't feel well. And uh, I was looking at this. I fixed all, I think all three of them now have had to be fixed. They won't, uh, I've get a, put a screw, this little thing got a hole in the end of it, and it's what pushes down on this. Just flip a switch, it pushes on that. And electric, there's a safety switch in there, electrical switch, and it won't come on. Uh, and this warp, these lids always warp and get go up, and then they won't come on. And so I put a screw in, I think all three of them now. This one I broke the deal. I just I thought, well, I think it's the right size if I just twist just a tiny bit harder, but not too hard. Yeah, I broke it. Well, I can see I broke it pretty. I broke it. broke it like that you know and it whole chunk came out then I, I epoxied it back in there with the screw and it stayed but the other one I got smart and I heated up the screw and screwed it in there so you know it, it made the plastic fit to it just right the newer one this is this is the nicer one but it's a tin cup the first one is the only thing wrong with it is it leaks water out the bottom and I'm sure the hose is bad and we ended up buying this one instead of fixing that one. Well, I couldn't get them apart. I didn't have the right bit, and the bit was, back. I couldn't find them any less than $10 for one of the, you can't be a regular length. I've got some, but they're not long enough, and I got super long just in case, but I needed it to be about at least that long to get to the number nine Torx, T9 Torx. So I bought, ended up several years later, five, probably 10 years from when I bought the first one, I ended up buying a set for five or ten bucks so first time I've used any of them okay so uh, yeah the water goes you know uh, the water how does it go this is where the grounds go in from is that a hole no the water comes in Somewhere a little lower, I guess right under this. And uh, 
I don't know, maybe the basket was staying full and running over. It's usually what, uh, well, that does happen. On, that that uh, little valve is bad about getting clogged up. It gets grounds in it. Now, and I always use the, the wire basket filter and the paper filter, and it still happens. Well, sometimes those filters collapse, you know. And, but uh, uh, the other one needs cleaning. Too, real bad. I don't feel like messing with it. I can just stick that basket in it <laughs> and it'll work. I'm wore out. But since this one's up here, I'm kind of thinking I may as well ran into the camera again. Kind of thinking I may as well um, um, clean it once at least. Wish I had a level, real level surface so that I know for sure that doesn't, in what making it mess up. I don't really, I mean, it is it's leaning this, no, it was leaning sideways, that's right. This time I can turn it the other way to where it's leaning this way. Let's see, get it stood back up. Get this. Uh, Well, I think I'll put it on over here further so that it can be seen in the video. There we go. About right there, I guess. I'm trying to kind of stay where I can plug it in okay. Let's see. Where is it? Way up there. Yeah, and I can get the whole thing in there now. Okay, now we'll put our light back over here. I just I have that on a power strip with my air compressor, and I just turn that off when I'm not out here. So this I'll use that water. I guess I'll fill it back up again, and. Uh, I'm trying to put my gloves where they won't get wet. See, that's why I didn't try to pour. I'd have to get something to stand on to pour up here. And I didn't want to do that. So that's how come I did it the way I did it. Yeah, I can't even put that in there. So. Uh, I'm going to stop the video and uh, go get what I that cleaner and stuff. And then... I'll start a new one whenever I, whenever I uh, come back. <sighs>